what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? According to social media reports, a New York off-duty police officer was knocked unconscious by a man who he called the dun 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 n-word. Yeah, fam. Reportedly, this happened back in March 2020. I don't know how I allowed this story to get past me, but was done in the subway. We'll come to Willie D. Live. These type of incidents just keeps on happening. It's almost as if nobody's ever seen a video of somebody getting knocked out for calling somebody the N-word. In any event, videos show the seemingly drunk off-duty officer accosting the man, basically begging to get knocked out before he got knocked out. The man kept telling him, get out of my face. Leave me alone. Stop playing with me. I mean, he said it many, many times. The man had a great deal of patience. I mean, he was very good at it. Leave me alone, man. Go on, man. Go on, go on. Dude just kept on rushing up on dude. So finally... Ding, ding, fries and shake. One hit a quitter. Ding. Out. Out. He was like, just like a newborn baby sleep. Not a newborn baby just be sleeping. Don't have a can to worry. He's like this. <laughs> Out. Fam, what I want to know is. Why do they want to use the word so much? And listen, dude wasn't even phased by the word when he said, he said, man, that don't mean nothing to me. I ain't worried about that word. I ain't worried about that. It's almost as if the word is losing its power. I'm not worried about that. Not to my code. What I want to know is why do they want to use the word so much? Why is it such a go-to word for them? The black guy stood up for his rights and the cop laid down for his lefts. <laughs> that dude showed a hella amount of restraint. I don't know if I could have done it. I know I couldn't have done it. That was a lot of restraint. This guy could actually teach a course in conflict resolution. He can make a lot of money. Could save a lot of lives also. Because that's what happens most often when people, you know, always getting into it, you know, can't seem to stay away from physical confrontation. They don't know the art of conflict resolution. We're walking on a whole lot of people right now who couldn't get it. Conflict resolution should be taught in schools. I'm telling you, fam, I am going to hook up with one of these senators or congresspeople, and I am going to push for a bill to make it mandatory that conflict resolution is taught in schools. And that could carry on not just into the streets, but into home life. You know, a lot of families, like a lot of parents don't understand. They never got lessons on conflict resolution. And this is why they don't know how to communicate effectively with their children. Yeah, conflict resolution go a long ways, fam. Unfortunately for me, I learned the hard way, trial and error, you know, baptism through fire. So I made a whole lot of mistakes. I got it now. I got it down pat now. But... Along the way, man, ooh we man. When I see a trail of destruction. Ooh, man. By the grace of God. That's how them old folks talk. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. And a strong will from myself. 
to want to grow, do better, right? Very important. But I salute the dude once again. I salute him for the restraint that he showed up until that point. Can't blame him. Can't blame him at all for taking care of business. And I think about it. I know for a fact I would have dropped him much sooner. Absolutely. Yeah. I know some people are offended by what happened, but that's only because the black guy knocked out the white guy. To that I say, suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the haters talking about?